Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon.com, is retiring July 5th today, or yeah, today, he's retiring. 27 years after he formed Amazon.com. There's lessons to be learned here. There's a lot of lessons to be learned. Number one, business owners make more money than investors. You could probably take the top 10 investors in Amazon and Jeff has more money than them. But more importantly, this is what's wild because I was reading an article about it and they put in the average net worth of the average 60 year old, 65 year old, right? The net worth for the average 65 year old is $266,000. Let me say that again. The average net worth of the average 62 year old that retires with some money is $266,000. $1,000 more than what I recently just invested in my car rental business. Let's talk about what people need to understand, what people need to learn to appreciate. Because one of the things is, Jeff Bezos is 57 years old. And he is stepping down from the, being the CEO of Amazon. John Nassi, the CEO of Amazon Web Services, which is a multi-billion dollar company by itself, will now become the CEO of Amazon. First thing, Jeff Bezos became a billionaire in 1998. 1998. Jeff Bezos became a billionaire 20 years ago. Jeff Bezos became a billionaire 20 years ago. He has been ultra rich for the last 20 years. Jeff Bezos became a billionaire seven years after starting Amazon.com. Seven years. Seven years. And I keep hearing, because I got a video that's coming up on Savage Finance about Investing. Now, let's talk about investing. Can you become rich investing? Yes, you can. However, what did I just tell you? The average 65-year-old in this country that retires with some money has a net worth of $266,000. All right. Uh, I could scratch that up in one of my business bank accounts. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand is you can work your money much harder and more efficiently than your money can work for you. Once again, let's be 100% clear. If you, at the age of 20, start investing $100 a month into an index fund, and you did that for 40 some years, you would have a million dollars by the time you were 61. This is a statistical fact. But check this out. Let's take me and my current car rental business, which I started two months ago. In 25 months, I'm going to have income, not revenue, income of 1.2 to 1.5 million a year in 24 months. Let's go ahead and say my projections are off. Let's say my projections are crap. Let's say my projections missed the mark and in 24 months, I only have an income of $700,000 per year. That's if a lot of stuff goes wrong and it could so it takes me 
24 months to build a revenue stream of $700,000. That's if things go badly. That's if I have a lot of repairs. That's if I have a lot of issues. If I don't follow the plan. That's bad. That's like 65, like 65. No, it's 60. I think it's like 55. I think it's like 55 or $57,000 per month. And that's if things go bad. Very, very bad. I anticipate being at 50 some thousand dollars per month by Christmas if things go well. So that's things going really, really, really bad. Really, really, really bad. And essentially, everyone is in love with passive income. Passive income. Passive income. This ability to wake up, don't have to do anything, and just have money coming in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video called the passive income myth. Because here's the thing. Yes, you can go out and buy some dividend stock and develop passive income. But how much passive income can you develop? Because, uh, like I said, I got a video that should be appearing on, uh, should appear on Savage Finance, talking about investing is a long-term play. Once again, you can become a millionaire through investing. We're just looking at three to four decades. And why is that important? All right, let's say you invest a hundred bucks a month and it's better to do that than to not do it. I'm not saying don't do it, but you have invested your hundred dollars per month. You've not been able to touch any of that money and it's accumulated and it's stacked up and now you are a millionaire at the age of 61. 61. Jeff Bezos became a billionaire in seven years. Seven years. I am here to tell you the lessons to be learned from Jeff Bezos and any other business. You know who is like really close to him in net worth? Jeff Arnott. Um, I forget it. I think he owns Louis Vuitton, Christian Louboutin. I think he owns that brand. I think he's worth like 186 billion Frenchmen. Essentially, businessmen get wealthier quicker than investors. Now, if speed is part of your time frame, if speed is part of your situation if speed for me speed is important I am 54 years old I became a millionaire 12 years ago so I was like 42 and I've been enjoying the millionaire lifestyle for 12 years what is the millionaire lifestyle nice cars nice vacations, nice place to live. I'm in a position to get virtually anything that I want. And you know what? I, I, this is going to be funny. I'm in a position and let, let me tell you what I, I plan on doing in the future. And this is kind of like the retirement plan. One of the reasons that I am starting this car rental business is I want to buy a plane. And the plane that I want, the first plane, once again, there, there's there's a plan. The first plane I want is 1.5 million. Hence, why I want to create an income of 1.5 million. So I can buy this plane. And I want to take flying lessons. And I want to, um, dang, I forgot go check out that car today. I want to um, take flying lessons. I want to 
buy a plane and in my retirement I want to be able to go to I'm thinking I'm going to put it here at Peachtree Industrial Airport versus the Fulton Industrial Airport you know I think that's where I'm going to store it and anytime I want to I can just go get in my plane and take up to seven people. I think this plane seats seven. And we can just fly wherever we want to go. Just fly. And I want to be in a position where I can afford a plane, afford the upkeep on the plane, and fly the plane whenever I want. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this. This was kind of one of the reasons that I was looking at um, the apartment building. But here's the thing that I've learned. I can spend less money and still, because my goal was to buy the $10 million apartment building, right? Put 2.5 million down and then finance the rest. And based upon what I have learned about real estate, a million dollar gets you a 10 unit complex. Okay, so 10 million should get me a hundred unit complex and a hundred unit complex is going to be out in the country somewhere. It's not going to be in town. Those units are way more expensive, but the average rent is going to be like 800, 800 bucks. That's going to be for one of these out in the country apartment complexes. So that's going to give me $80,000 a month in gross revenue, right? My loan for each million financed is going to be around five or 6,000. So my loan is going to be 40, 40,000 a month. So it's going to be half my revenue, 40,000 a month. Then I got taxes then I have staff. So this 2.5 million in real estate will yield me about 40, let's say 30,000 a month, 30,000 a month. Cause that, that's one of the reasons I kind of stepped away from it because I'm like, I already make way more than that doing what I'm doing. And I don't have that exposure of having to come up with $2.5 million. So that's one of the reasons. And one of the reasons I can do this car business, I can be at 50,000 per month by December. And I'll have expenses and stuff, um, probably 2,000 a month in expenses. So that's like way more money but I've only, I haven't put 2.5 million in. If I were to invest 2.5 million in this business, the multiples would be significantly higher than real estate. And that, that's one of the lessons I've learned because you, you gotta look at your real estate. You gotta look at what works for you. And one of the things that I have learned is to keep an open mind because Essentially, let me let me go ahead and give you some of the lessons. What what did Jeff Bezos do with Amazon? He used the money from Amazon to start multiple businesses. Jeff Bond, I don't know if he has a stock portfolio or not. I don't know. I have to Google that. But he started Blue Origin and some other businesses and Amazon Web Services. So he used that money to start other businesses, which created more cash flow. This is one of the best lessons you can learn from Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos didn't go into the stock market. Jeff Bezos didn't start doing options trading. He built more businesses. So what I plan on doing once I get to that 1.5 million is I'm probably going to start two more businesses. Now, this, this is what's funny. Two to three years from now, I'm probably going to start, perhaps, maybe, I'm still thinking about it, a moving company. Mac Daddy moving. And essentially, I will be able to go out and buy 10 trucks and buy a warehouse and just get me a moving crew and go into the business just like that. And that business can make a lot of money. 
just thinking there, there, there's there's many business ideals that are percolating in my head because once again i've been a millionaire since i was 42 years of age i've been able to live in great places drive fancy cars, eat at great restaurants, take fancy vacations. Um, essentially, if you don't know this about me, I only fly for first class. I have not flown coach or economy or any of that stuff. I can't remember when. I cannot remember when. I mean... I, I simply can't remember when I flew coach or economy. I always fly first class. So that's what the millionaire lifestyle has afforded me. And I'm a man of fairly simple taste. I don't have extraordinary taste. I don't um, have a crazy appetite. But once again, right before your eyes, you saw the power of starting a successful business right before your eyes. Once again, you have so many people who want to be investors because you want to know why? As an investor, you put money to work and you don't work. And as Jeff Bezos has shown you, as Bill Gates has shown you, as Steve Jobs has shown you, as uh, Mark Cuban has shown you, as Kevin O'Leary, starting a business is the fastest way to wealth. Fastest way. Much, much faster than investing. Now, once again, once you get the money and you get that level of wealth, you become a mega investor. And what does Mark, Kevin O'Leary invest in? Businesses businesses. I don't know his full investment situation, but I do know on Shark Chink they invest in businesses. That's what they invest in. They invest in businesses. So, once again, lessons to be learned. If you want money, now, like I said, you can become a millionaire through investments, but that is a slow, 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 slow process. And while you're investing, you can't spend the money. With a business, you can make more money, you can make money faster, you can get richer faster, and you can then spend and enjoy the money. I don't know how to break that to y'all because like some people are so drunk on this investing Kool-Aid, I'm buying some stocks, I got me some options and stuff. And the reality is, you start a business, like if you started an eBay business, a small eBay business, and you only made 1500 bucks a month, $18,000 a year, and you did that for 30 years, 30 years. You know, that. It, let, let's say you started a business and you saved half of your money half okay so let's see um let's go into the calculator let's get into my phone let's get into the calculator so let's see 18,000 okay times 30 is 540,000 minus 50%, 270,000. So if you started a small eBay business and never scaled it up, you would have more money saved than the average person at age 65. And let's say you started this business when you were 21. So you would have $270,000 when you're 51. And you could do a lot of things with that. But let's go ahead and say you started this eBay business and you scaled it. And you made 18,000 your first year. And then within five years, you got up to 60,000. We're, we're not even going crazy. 60,000, $60,000. And then you did that for 20 years. It's 1.2 million. So if you started a small eBay business at age 21, 
and got it up to 60,000 and you kept that up for 20 years, 41, you would have $1.2 million of earned income. Way more than what the average 65 year old has at retirement age. You see where I'm going? Yes, passive income is an amazing thing if you can get it. But the reality is you can work your money much more efficiently and harder than your money can just work for you. That's the thing that no one is really talking about in this, I'm an investor, I got some investments, I got me some rental properties, I got this, I got that. And essentially, if you were to start a small business and not even get to 100K a year, but get to 60K a year, and you manage your money well, and you kept your job. Once again, this is an addition to, I mean, I want you to think about it. You kept this small business and used all this small business to fund other businesses or to get into investments. Totally different game plan. Totally, totally different situation. Because let's talk about me and my um, car rental business. How did I start it? I started it with money that came from my, I have a YouTube business, I have an online, online course business, kind of sort of a coaching business. But essentially, if you were to count my revenue streams, YouTube channel number one is one revenue stream, YouTube channel number two is you, two you. And these are streams that I can actually live off. I can live off my YouTube revenue. Then my online course revenue, then another platform, so I have like five revenue streams, and then six if you want to account my affiliate marketing streams. And essentially, that gave me the money to start this business and put all that money in the business, and I still have money. I can, Like I said, I'm probably, probably what's gonna happen in the future is I'm just primarily gonna be living off my YouTube money. My YouTube money is growing. Uh, I see my YouTube money getting to maybe 15, maybe 20,000 this year per month. That's, I can easily, I can live in a penthouse because, you know, I got a video like coming up how I save 95% of my income. You know, one of the reasons is my income is so high. That's one of the reasons because, and another reason is I don't carry any, I don't carry a lot of debt. I don't have, my income isn't divided up in debt payments. I don't have a lot of debt. That is primarily one of the main reasons that I can save 95% of my income. Because I don't have a lot of debt. I don't have a lot of obligations. And I live a pretty luxury life. I drive, I drive this. I drive a Porsche, live in the million dollar house eat out virtually every day, um, not taking a vacation for probably six, seven months. But when I do take a vacation, I stay in a five-star hotel, I fly first class, I eat well, I drink well, I enjoy myself. So I'm pr living pretty well on 5% of my income. I'm living, I'm living a dope lifestyle on 5% of my income. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, this comes from entrepreneurship and this comes from a business. Once again, yes, you can become a millionaire investing. It's just gonna take you three to four decades. And you will be older than I am. I am currently 54. I got to millionaire status at age 42. And I'm here to tell you, it is totally different it's a totally different lifestyle. It's a totally different way of living. It's a totally different way of enjoying life. It is a totally different way to be part of society. It's a totally different way that whenever you go in the store and you see something you want, you can get it. It's a totally different life. It's a totally different way of being, 
It's a totally different way of living and it comes from entrepreneurship. I'm telling you, being an entrepreneur will literally change your life. Look at the lessons learned from Jeff Bezos. Look at the lessons. And one of the things that so many of you don't seem to understand is I am doing these videos that is disturbing people's reality about investing because once again, yes, you can become a millionaire investing. Once again, it's just going to take you three, four decades. Whereas I became, I got my first million in three years from start to million, three years. And you've got people on here talking about fire. And once again, I pointed out an obvious flaw because they'll tell you we started our fire journey and from when we started our fire journey, it only took us eight years. We're going to totally discount all of the time we were working. And really, if you look at it from start to finish, most people get into fire. Unless they get into fire in their late 20s, it really takes them 18 years to two decades to achieve fire. Two decades. I got to where a lot of people get in two decades in three years three years so you can keep talking all this fire and investing and putting your money to work because you don't want to work and i'm going to show you how i can build a revenue stream an income stream of 1.5 million dollars per year in 24 months 24 months while you're dancing around trying to be an investor and it's going to take you decades to get to where Actually, honestly, you will not get to where you will, in 24 months, this would be called extremely fat fire at 1.5 million a year. Because let's go ahead and do the math. I pay myself $40,000 a month and I'm going to pay about $12,000 in taxes. So that's 30, 12,000, that's $144,000 in taxes right off the top. And then I'm going to pay, I'm gonna give a big portion of that money to myself as dividends. So I'm gonna pay 15% there. So I take 40, I put 60, 180 minus uh, 15%. So I'm gonna be able to slide 150, 600,000, And then I'm going to be able to do about 30,000 per month. So out that 1.2, I'm going to be able to pocket $900,000, $900,000, where the average person, like the average NFL athlete is paying 400,000 per mil. I won't even pay 400,000. I'll pay, I'll make, so I would bring home 900K. You're not going to achieve that in two decades or three decades investing where you're getting to bring home $900,000 per year after taxes. You're not going to achieve that investing. Essentially, if you're lucky, that 1.2 will be your investment portfolio and you have to pull out 4%, which would be $30,000. And then you have to rely on social security. Fun thing, I, I looked at my social security. If I wait to social security, wait to 70, I get to pull 2,500 bucks a month out of social security. My goal is to be in a position where I can say F social security. Don't care about it, don't need it, Give it to someone else. That's my goal. Because I want to be 70 years old driving, let's see, 70. 70 is six. Wow, 70 is closer than 16 years away. 70 is 16 years away. So whatever year, I want to be driving that year Porsche when I'm 70. That's when we get for my 70th birthday. I'm going to get me another Porsche. And if I'm bringing home $900,000 per year, that, that would be easy. 
it'd be real easy. I could go out and pay cash for whatever Porsches be at that point in time in the year. So these are the lessons to learn from Jeff Bezos. Become a CEO, become an entrepreneur because you will get your money much faster than investing. And also, Jeff Bezos lost a lot of money during his divorce and he is still the richest man in the world. I think McKenzie's worth like 30 billion, something like that. She married well, she married correctly. That worked out for her. But once again, these are the lessons to be learning from being an entrepreneur. So that's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you in the next one.